In this week's Photoshop design tutorial, I'll show you how to design a simple magazine cover in Photoshop. Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new Photoshop design tutorial. My name is Manny and you can find me over at RitaPro.com, the channel where you get to learn everything about Photoshop design and weekly quick tutorials. So in this week's episode, I've got a little magazine cover here for you. I'm going to show you guys how to design a magazine cover. Also, I'm not going to show every single step and every font in that. It's very self-explanatory. You can just add more fonts and change font sizes and thicknesses and also space them individually so it looks a bit better. One very important point is just though that the cover is not leaning more to the left or right. So have a look that the whole cover is balanced a bit more. But yeah, enough of the talking, let's get right away into designing the cover. Okay, so over in Photoshop, in our right hand side here in the layers palette, you guys get to see that I already have a group here called version one. So right away, this is what my cover is made of. Again, a few texts here, again, all lined on top onto an image and as well obviously the cover here cover title so let's get started right away i'm going to actually turn this off and you would get to have to get started with file new and you're going to go all the way to canvas size here to a new canvas size you can right away rename this to cover then as well on the document type go all the way to custom and find out the width and height for your magazine cover then as well change the resolution to 300 dpi here so it's nice and high quality you can stick with 8-bit and RGB colors and background contents white. And as well, obviously, your color profile. This would most probably be, again, Adobe RGB 1998. Now, you're going to hit OK, and right away, you will be landing here on something like this. It might just look transparent or white again on your screen. So you've successfully now created a canvas. Again, find out your width and height before you do this. Now, then you can drag in your first image, which is, in our case, this lovely lady here in a dance club. And then on top of that, I've started adding, first of all, the cover title, then as well, some elements here from text. And yeah, lastly, the barcode. And that is basically it. So I'm also going to show you guys how to do this. I'm not going to show you guys how to do every single font. It's very simple. You can always duplicate the fonts and obviously change the fonts a little bit. Meaning over here, you can basically change just the 25 to be something more bold and more vibrant or more bigger, smaller. You can also change some text to have a different font, completely different font, or something like here. Also have a different font over here, structured a little bit smaller, then have two of the main words stand out a little bit more, and also something smaller like this again, which works together with this first one. Underneath something, so I'm going to show you guys a few, but not everything. It's very simple to duplicate and to get some ideas in the internet. Just Google for magazine covers and you'll see a thousand of covers with awesome text ideas, how to place text. Just remember to put your main words into capital and also nice big fat fonts. Okay, what I also want to do is just quickly delete this layer. I'm going to create a new empty layer. Move this all the way to the top and just quickly talk about something that's pointed out to me. Now, I'm not really a person who designs covers every single week. I have also done this for the first time, but found a lot of inspiration in the internet and tried to copy some of their ideas. So first of all, what I'm looking at is a nice big space here in the top to place a cover. Now, normally you would most probably have a bit of space here to put it. Um, it preferably be not over the subject's face, so it's possible to have it over here. So have a look that your image has a lot of space here in the top. Then also sometimes people place the actual cover title behind the subject. I did it right on top of it. So sometimes you have to cut out the subject over here. Okay, let's just turn this off or we'll actually delete it again, create another layer. Sometimes you would have to cut out the model here and just place this part again on top so that the text is actually hidden behind her. More about that next week when we're going to work with layer masks. So if you're not uh, familiar with masks, Maybe come back next week. We're going to have a great tutorial on layer masks. Okay, I'm going to create a new layer again. Rename this once again to help layer and move it back to the top. Okay, so what I also want to show now is again, what I'm having a look out for is that my picture here is evenly spaced. So I have a bit of space to put text over here, maybe over here or here. I definitely have space over here and a bit over here so I can place a barcode. And maybe then also a bit more space here that I can put actually the issue name. Or sometimes over here, 
or sometimes over here. So yeah, like I said, I'm not a designer who designs covers every week. I've just had a look at a lot of pictures online and found some references and ideas online to replicate this. So yeah, let's get actually cracking with this. I want to show you guys, first of all, how to do this first one here at the top. It's called Nightclub and Issue 23. Okay, so let's actually turn off version number one here. And I'm just going to make a duplicate of this image. So with Command J, I'm just duplicating and bringing it all the way to the top. Again, I'm working with a Mac. So if I say Command, please also Windows user press Control. So I'm going to just write here Start. Okay, so that is my background image. And right on top of that, I'll take the text tool now. And first of all, make a big selection over here and write Tronics for the cover title. Okay, Tronics it is. I'm first of all going to select also the font for this. And this will be now, in my case, intro inline regular. You guys can also find that down below in the description. Okay, I'm going to make it nice and big. Remember to have your selection also big enough so you can make the font nice and big. Okay, it's a little bit more. And I'm going to accept that. So this one should be standing out quite a lot and should be very, very big. Maybe it's slightly too big. So I'll just take it to 290. Okay. Accept it, and with my cursors left and right, I'm moving this into the space. So like I said before now, I would not like to place it somewhere over here. Then I would know I need to extend my cover a little bit. So over the here, that's fine actually. Okay, I'm going to place it over there. And then we're going to start now right away out with something like Nightclub Issue 23. Maybe it's the magazine is actually called Nightclub, but Tronics is just the title today. Or maybe the magazine is called Tronics. And Nightclub would just be a subtitle. Something more um, like a slogan which goes with Tronics. I'm going to press T on the keyboard again. Make a big selection over here. And also right now Nightclub. So big capital N, Night, and then Club. And going to select everything. And first of all, choose a different font. So for this, I want to work with Master of None. Okay, let's take Master of Break Regular. You guys can also find that down below in the description again. Okay, make this nice and small. So we can still take it down a bit more, something to like 40, 42. Yeah, that is great. I'm going to add another spacing in between here and accept that right away. Okay, take the move tool. Let's place that somewhere over here. Okay, like so, like a little subliminal text underneath there. And I'm going to make another selection and write maybe issue. 23, I just came up with this, and I'm changing this font to something very subtle, so it's good to see. Um, this would maybe be something like Helvetica Neu again, something with ultralight or just normal. I'm not going to switch ultralight, I'm going to switch to maybe thin. Let's have a look under light, light is actually a bit better. Okay, and I'm also going to write everything in capital letters here. So again, issue 23. Okay, accept that. And, yep, we're going to move that now all the way over. And I think it's slightly too big. So let's select it again and make it a bit smaller. Do something like 32. I'm going to also zoom in with Z a little bit and just take this and move it a bit over. So now directly I'm looking at the G here. It can fit in here and end with the B. So that looks great, ready together. Great. I'll zoom out a little bit. And let's also create another one. But before I do that, let's actually take Nightclub and Issue 23. Press Command G and put that together in a group. And you can obviously rename it to whatever you want. I'm going to say Issue 23. The same with Tronics. I'm just going to press Command G and put this together in a group and call this maybe Cover. Cover title or something. Okay. And let's minimize this. And this is our start again. And obviously our help layer. What I also wanted to mention, which I most probably didn't, is I want to always have that my image is balanced on both sides, so left and right. So place your text so that it's always balanced left and right here. Let's have a look. So again, it doesn't feel like it's falling to the left or right. So and you can also do that in order with uh, changing here the font sizes. So making like a 20 really big and the cover over here and a smaller text and compensates again for both of these heavy points here. So it doesn't feel like it's it's falling to the left or right. Again, it's balanced. Okay, so let's go back. I'm going to turn this off and also create something more now. Uh, maybe, for instance, I can show you how to also do the barcode. So I'll just drag in the barcode over here. It's also something that I just found on the internet. So this is a no means original barcode. I basically just scaled it a bit bigger now. Accept it. And let's drag that all the way here into the corner. 
And what's really nice now with CC, Photoshop CC, you can see these uh, pink guidelines here. Photoshop already helps with placing things into the right area. So everything looks kind of in the same distance and same direction and is spaced on the right places. Okay, now I don't want to replicate again the text here, so I'll just duplicate this one, issue 23, because I also want to place it down here. So just with the text tool selected, escape again, press command J, duplicate it, and I'll just drag this layer out of this one here back to the barcode. Now with move tool, select the move tool. I'm just going to drag this all the way down, and I can also place this down here. Again, select the text tool, select it, and I will also set this maybe to 20 and go to the character box and change my tracking here all the way up. So maybe it fits through the whole picture. No, I'm going to make it a bit smaller. So something around 660. Okay, accept that and move it a bit down again. Okay, so that would be issue 23. You can obviously style it a bit different. Again, take the group or take the layers here and put this together in a group and write also barcode. Great, so that would be one challenge now. Then let's maybe add another big one, something with party and 20. So I'll make again, take the text tool, make a big selection. First of all, I'm going to write party. Okay, all in white also. Let's just change the font again. I'm going to go all the way up here and select this time intro regular. Okay, without the typing here in the center. Then let's make it a bit bigger. I will also, under the character box, change this tracking back to zero. And maybe take it a bit further in. Yeah, something like so, like a minus 80. And make it nice and big. Be like 150. And accept that. Okay, let's move it all the way down here. So it's supposed to go somewhere here. It's maybe a little bit too big still. We can change that in a minute. Select it again. And I will go with something like 120. Okay, accept that and I'll place it somewhere over here. Now, I'm also gonna create a number, so I'm just gonna press Command J, duplicate this layer, move it over, and select the whole thing again, and write 20 over here. Now, I'm gonna take the 20 and make it nice and big, uh, something roughly like 170 for now, accept it, and again, create another selection, and we're now gonna write something like party 20 best dance moves or something. So again, let's select best, Facing or enter, so you write underneath it, and dance, again, move. So all the text is under each other. Dance, moves. there we go. Okay, select everything, and this time I'm going to work again with Helvetica Neue. Uh, I'm going to go all the way back to the top, because this is the recent fonts I've worked with. And I think for this I'm going to work with uh, Helvetica Neue Lite. You guys can also find that again in the description down below. I'm going to make this nice and small. And as well, work here a little bit with my spacing. Uh, let's make it a bit smaller so I can actually see it already. Best dance moves. Okay, let's select all of this. And I'm just going to take the tracking here to minus 60. So it's not so close to each other. Accept it. Take the move tool and place this somewhere over here. Okay, now I'm just looking here at the positioning. Let's take 20 and move this a bit closer. And obviously, we need to change the 20 size. So select text tool again, select the 20 over here, make it nice and big. Maybe actually make it too big, so we can roughly test this. Yeah, but it works already almost. So let's select it, move it a bit closer. I'm also going to take party and move this a bit over, like so. So obviously, guys, I'm spacing this just manually, quickly, back and forth. You can always change this again, depends on what you want. Okay. Then what I will also do is now take party, 20, best dance moves, press command G, rename this again to maybe 20, okay, and press command T now in order to transform the whole thing. So hold shift on the keyboard, take an anchor point and make this a bit smaller. So it's not that prominent on the picture and also on the cover. So yeah, that I would place over here. And then now I would continue and do a few more overall. I'm not going to show all of them now. I want to actually copy a few out here from the existing ones that I have. Just not barcode. We wanted to take 23 seats, maybe, um, force, nightclub, steering, starring, and future. I'm going to take all of these out and move them to the top. And basically, you guys can see now how I covered that. Let's also have a look here. I want to take out a few more nightclub over here. 
So again, I've placed a few text things here, something like the future of fashion. Again, let's select it actually. So this is again Helvetica Neue with a light font. Then I've chosen to go with a bigger font, but the same font, it's also Helvetica Neue, but it's all written in bold. And then as well, again, the same font as we had over here, I just took that again. Maybe I should actually change the size for this. So this is 50 pixels. And this is also 50, so I could maybe make this a bit bigger so it stands out. Okay, and then obviously with the cursors, move it up a little bit. And then I just continue again. Fashion is also most probably written in bold. And then nightclub again, written also in healthy Dikonoya, but light again, the same like the and of. But I took down the size a little bit and then went up with the tracking here a little bit from the character box. Also, what I didn't mention, if you don't have the character box, please go to window and select the character box over here. Great, so once you have that, you can obviously space the text a little bit. You can also add something like starring actor, something like free, uh, 25 free tickets inside or something that's in the issue. Obviously you're talking about, about the issue as well, what's inside and what's happening on it to lure people in to actually buy this and read more about it. But yeah, that's basically how you create this cover. It's a very quick tutorial. One could sit way longer on this to show you guys how to do this. But obviously, I don't want to show you guys every single uh, font here. Uh, you guys get the point of how do I structure it. The most important part is just look that all the text here is equally spaced and it does feel balanced to the left and right side. Yeah, guys, so that is basically it for editing and for photoshopping a magazine cover here. So like I said before, also I didn't show all the elements and all the fonts because they are self-explanatory. Again, just change the fonts, also change the size and the thickness. And then also have a look on Google for some inspiration and try to look how they space the text so you can copy there a little bit. And yeah, work with a few different fonts. The most important thing is again, have a look that it's not falling to the right or left, that it's just balanced and it feels good as a design as is. Guys, if you're like me and just can't get enough of Photoshop design, and click on your screen right now to subscribe. We send out free episodes every single week. And guys, we love to stay in touch. So leave your comment down below in the comment section or send us your tutorial request right away to tutorials at retapro.com. Thanks again, guys, for watching. I'll catch you all in the next tutorial. And you are still here. That most probably means you want to see some more tutorials. Yes, then the wait no longer. Just check here on the right hand side are again something from last week, something popular and also a Facebook cover here, how to design a Facebook cover in Photoshop. Super simple, super quick and yeah, catch you all in the next episode.